So Amay, this is our sand table. And uh, when you dig, it draws new topo lines. You can also hold your hand out and simulate a cloud and that rains. And then the water is projected with the correct fluid dynamics and evaporation and percolation rates that are changeable for different parts of the country. But um, basically it's open source software from uh, Oliver Kralos, K-R-E-Y-L-O-S from UC Davis. And um, it's really cool. The kids really, really dig it. But um, it's good for teaching topography and watershed. And there's a, there's a couple of cheat keys I figured out reading a blog. But there's a, there's a flood key. And then as it dries and percolates. And then if you can't wait for the percolation there's a dry key and it dries it up fast and it's vivid in a darker darker light this is just daylight in our downstairs garage area but basically we built a little sand table about waist height it needs to be 40 by 30 for the uh, aspect ratio to work with the basically the Microsoft Connect is uh, reading the depth, talking to the computer and the program, drawing the lines, and then this little short throw projector is projecting it on just white masonry sand. And then um, we, we found a teacher's facilitation guide and some other products on a, a website called lakeviz.org, and it's uh, all the collaborators I think this is the ninth one in the, for sure in the country, but um, they're starting to uh, show up in science centers and stuff, and then we just built a little open Linux computer to run it. Um, we want to build a really nice one, prettier than our caveman style one, for uh, at the MoMA Center for the new science center. That's an intro, and that's the sand table. Come and play with it, it's pretty cool.